Welcome back. It's time for one of our most popular segments on PTL. What's it worth with antiques appraiser expert Dr. Lori? And you're getting good at this game, I Heather. Don't know. You are. We first met Dr. Lori at the Home and Garden Show and are so happy to have her with us all the time now from her studio in Bucks County. So each week, Dr. Lori pulls five of the many photos you send to us to appraise, and we try to guess the worth. You can play along at home too, and we love that. And Dr. Lori, first, like we normally do, we need to see what's on your table today. <laughs> Well, you know, it's the end of summer and my family would go on a car trip, right? And the kids hated it, but we all went and we usually played car games. So I put out some of the car games, right? All the different games you played in the car because mom was trying to keep you occupied. <laughs> a lot of fun. So we want to start with one item sent in from one of our PTL viewers. This is from Barb. She sent in a photo of a secretary from Larkin Soap. Ooh, how pretty about piece this? of furniture. Yeah, it's a nice piece of furniture. And how about this? You could collect coupons once you bought soap. And then if you collected enough of them, you'd get furniture. Wait, <laughs> this is great. That's the most interesting thing I've heard all day. I, I know. Isn't yeah. that something? Okay, well, so furniture usually has a lot it's, of value. Yeah. Uh, so when does this date back to, Dr. Lori? About 1908, 1910 is the date of it from that Buffalo, New York company. Okay. okay. And it looked like it was in pretty good shape. Do you think it yep. is? Did it, okay, so it's in good shape. Hmm. Good shape. Tell us more about the company. Uh, well, the company was basically this idea of trying to get advertising. So you would have a conversation piece. You'd say, hey, where'd you get the beautiful the beautiful secretary? I bought soap from Larkin. So it's really <laughs> wonderful. It's wonderful. It's a great advertising idea, right? I wouldn't mind yeah. if the company did that now, for yeah. instance. They need to bring it back. I'd like some free That's furniture great. for buying okay. soap. Okay. Okay, I'm going to... So what do you think it's worth? It's early 1900s, and of course it is solid wood, and then the mm -hmm. secretary part that it actually folds down so you can write on it. Okay, I'm going to go okay. 2000. Oh, okay, I'm pretty close. I went with 2500. Okay, it's worth 1300. Oh, $1,300. <laughs> yeah. You're the okay. winner. Nice, it's a nice piece. And they kept it in good shape all these years. Yeah, it looks in great shape. Very okay, nice. Great. We have a, a mantel clock up next from Gail. Pretty. As you as you know, I grew up in, in near New Haven, Connecticut, which is the Connecticut shoreline, the most famous place for late 19th, early 20th century clocks. My parents actually met working in a clock shop, interestingly enough. This particular one is just from that part of the country. This piece has an architectural feel. You see those nice columns, mm -hmm. and it dates to about 1900. Was this something that would have been mass produced? Yes, there were a lot of them out there. The works were made in one place, the case was made in another. Okay, I feel like it's, it's rare anymore. Am I right to see a beautiful mantle clock? I mean, even when I go to stores or shop online, it, it's, you don't really see that mantle come with it anymore. You don't see a mantle clock very often. You know, the clock that just sits on the mantle over the fireplace all the time. You don't see them as much um, because we're more attuned to wall clocks for right. the most part. So what do you think it's worth? Um, are, there, are there still a lot of them now, Dr. Lori? Well, the antique ones do come onto the market. This one is, of course, a stone with some metal accents and then the works again from Connecticut. I, I don't. David's so good at this game he is anymore. So good at it. <laughs> you're both good at it. You're asking good questions. Okay, too. I'm I'm gonna go 125, just given the mass production being made yeah. in two separate places. So I'm gonna say 125. Okay. I, I went a little higher. I went 325. It's worth $125 on the nose, Heather Abraham. Get out, Dr. <laughs> Lori. You got it too. Right. How about that? I yeah. need to come back after this break and really <laughs> step up my game here. Okay, we have a couple more pictures to get to. So, Dr. Lori, you stay there as usual, and we'll be right back with you. Play some of your games. We'll be back, like a car ride. <laughs>